Hi, I'm Marcel James, and welcome to my new video tip series for Avenger. The first feature we're going to take a look at is the MIDI Learn function. First thing you want to do is go to the system right here in the middle area where I'm waving around and MIDI. And you can reset everything by just clicking that top trash can. So it just gives us a great starting point to work from. And now if you look down here, as I move a fader, I can see that uh, different continuous controllers looking at the lower right of the panel we'll see those MIDI buttons moving around and I'm just going to drag one for now to the filter and uh, just move it up and down now it's activated so if I have a sound like this we all know what a filter does so that's a pretty cool starting point now if I want to press a button as well and assign that to something I get a different continuous controller. I'll put it on reduce drums. Just drag it to reduce drums. That's a macro button which is assigned to uh, allow some drums to come through and it cuts others like hi-hats. So now if I uh, take the same track With just a knob and a button, I've brought just a couple of the parameters in uh, Avenger to life. One new feature is to allow buttons to control the next and previous preset arrows right here. So I can select that for an arrow. And now with the push of a button, select the next preset. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it helps some of you get going with this, create some new ideas. You can also drag to a lot of the modulation and pitch editors. A lot of these knobs also can be, can be controlled by MIDI. So get in there and experiment and join our Facebook group. That's where a lot of the third party action is going on and people helping each other with programming and tips and that kind of thing. And we'll see you there. I'm Marcel James for Vengeance Sound.